Hello everyone and welcome once again to the Pediatric Hotline where today's presentation is going to cover stomach viruses. I would really appreciate it if you would give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you. Stomach viruses are also known as the stomach bug, or stomach flu, or gastroenteritis, among other names. And they consist of nausea, vomiting and or diarrhea, stomach cramping, fever, chills, sweats, loss of appetite, weakness, fatigue, and possibly dehydration, which I will discuss in a future presentation. There are numerous types of viruses which cause this illness. Because gastroenteritis is caused by a virus, antibiotics do not treat them and they have to run their course. They are different from food poisoning, which I will also discuss in a future presentation. Usually a stomach virus will last anywhere from 24 hours to several days up to a week. They are highly contagious, especially in areas where people are close together, such as college dorms, nursing homes, military bar barracks, and schools. Gastroenteritis is spread by droplets. The ill person sheds virus particles in their saliva, nasal secretions, vomit, and stool. By getting any of the fluid into your mucous membrane, such as your mouth or nose, it can possibly cause you to become sick. Their body fluids can get into your, onto your hands, and if you rub your nose or eat or stick your fingers in your mouth without washing your hands, you can also get sick. So, how do you keep from catching it? So the best way to prevent stomach viruses is to wash your hands. Studies show that children who wash their hands just four times a day have greater than 51% fewer stomach bugs. Wash your hands frequently and thoroughly. Use warm soap and water and scrub for at least 15 seconds. So treating a stomach virus consists of washing your hands frequently and thoroughly and every time you use the bathroom. Stay in bed and get plenty of rest. Sips of clear fluids throughout the day to replace body fluids lost through vomiting or diarrhea. That can be water, unsweetened fruit juices, warm tea, diluted Gatorade for young children or Pedialyte, and ginger ale and ice pops. Tylenol or Motrin can be help, used and help with fever, stomach cramps, body aches, or headache. If you feel like eating, eat a light and bland diet such as crackers, toast, applesauce, bananas, soup broth. Do not eat any dairy or milk, meat or fried foods. These are hard to digest and can cause you to vomit while you are still sick. When to be concerned. If your infant has not urinated in 8 hours or your child has not urinated in 12 hours. If your child is lethargic, that is they cannot be woken up, they are not responsive or extremely tired. These could be signs of significant dehydration and may mean your child needs to have intravenous fluid rehydration. But as always, you should call your pediatrician and they can guide you on what to do. So that'll do it for today's episode of the Pediatric Hotline. Thank you for watching and I hope this was helpful. If there are any topics that you would like to see covered in this channel, please comment below. Have a healthy and wonderful day.